Hi everyone, it's Amir from Go On Berlin, your private tour guide in Berlin. I hope you're having an amazing day. Here in Berlin it's sunny, it's the peak of summer, it's amazing. Let's take this opportunity to talk about one of the most famous, iconic places in Berlin, of course, the Brandenburg Gate. The beautiful Brandenburg Gate marks the start of the road from Berlin to the town of Brandenburg under Heffel, and therefore its name. The gate is a monumental entry to Unter den Linden, the renowned boulevard of linden trees, which led directly to the royal city palace of the Prussian monarchs. The gate was commissioned by Friedrich Wilhelm II, King of Prussia. On top of it, the Quadriga, a four horses chariot of the goddess Victoria, blesses the city with peace and prosperity. In 1806, after defeating the Prussian army, Napoleon took the Quadriga to Paris as a symbol of victory over Prussia. But eight years later, in 1814, the Quadriga was restored to Berlin after Napoleon's defeat and the Prussian occupation of Paris. That's also why the square in front of the gate called Parisoplatz. The famous Jewish painter Max Liebermann was living in Parisoplatz during the 1930s. While watching the Nazis celebrate their victory by marching through the Brandenburg Gate, Lieberman said, I could not possibly eat as much as I would like to throw up. Today in Pariser Platz you can see the three embassies of the Allied forces who won World War II. The United States of America, France, and United Kingdom. The famous luxury hotel Adlon is a new building with a design inspired by the original hotel that stood here before its destruction in World War II. Take a moment to relax and have a drink in Unter den Linden and watch the beautiful gate before crossing to the other side. There you can find the great Tiergarten, the central park of Berlin. Originally the hunting ground of the electors of Brandenburg, it is one of the most beloved parks in Berlin today. Find your way to the memorial to the Sinti and Roma victims of National Socialism. The monument is dedicated to the memory of the 500,000 people murdered by the Nazis. It was designed by Israeli sculptor Danny Caravan. In the middle of the dark pool, the triangular stone represents the badges that had to be worn by the concentration camp's prisoners and a fresh flower is placed on top of it every day. Also in Tiergarten, you can find the Soviet War Memorial. The memorial commemorates the 80,000 soldiers of the Red Army who died during the Battle of Berlin in World War II. You can also see the two ML-20 artillery pieces and two T-34 tanks that has been used by the Red Army. Continue walking on the beautiful Tiergarten until you reach the Ziegazoyle, the Victory Column. Built in 1873, the Victory Column commemorates the Unification War of Germany that took place in the 19th century. The stunning golden statue of the Victory Goddess on top of it is one of the most impressive statues all over Berlin. Originally the column stood in front of the Reichstag, but in 1939 the Nazis relocated the column and added another 7.5 meter long segment, all part of Hitler's plan to transform Berlin to the capital city of the world, a city named Germania. If you so choose to climb the spiral staircase of 285 steps, you will see a magnificent view of the park and the city around you. A true sight to behold. If you want to know more, you're welcome to visit our website at goonberlin.com. We upload a video every week, so please also write in the comments below what interests you about Berlin and we would like to make a video about it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.